should have brought a wider angle lens. Now Hello. he's tiny. Bag review. Every time. Bag review. I'm regretting all of these layers. Is it too warm? Yes. Now he's too warm. I'm perfectly well equipped today to be telling you all about this on my back here, which is the new Lopro Photosport 15 liter ultralight day pack. <laughs> Worst intro ever. <laughs> We are terribly lost. Ah, the beach, the beach. All right, come on. Come on, run down it. Very disappointed you didn't fall on your head. You! Ha! Ah, a convenient log for me to sit on. Oh! <coughs> there was a nub on the log. Anyway, a very quick review of the new Low Pro Photosport BP15L AW3. That is quite the mouthful. But basically, what this is, this is an ultralight 15 litre day pack which is made from recycled material. I think it's made from recycled bottles. I could be wrong, but I've been after something like this for a very, very long time because I have bigger rucksacks that can hold like 65 liters, 50 liters plus things that are kind of this size. But the problem is I fill them, absolutely fill them. So I've been really looking for something big enough that I can get everything I need for a day, but it's small enough that it forces me to be strategic in what I bring. So it's just for ultralight days out on the mountain. So when Low Pro asked me about reviewing their new range of photo, photography, video oriented um, outdoor rucksacks, I said, I'll have the smaller one, please. There's also a 25 liter version of this and possibly I think at some point they're gonna be making an even bigger version, but quick review, really quick review. The basic idea of this is it's a rucksack split into two compartments. You've got a top bit, you can just stick your normal rucksacky stuff. And then it's got a dedicated bit in here for photography. So you can see here, if I unzip on the side and open this up, there's a special compartment in here where I can keep a camera, I can keep a drone. And what's cool is this whole thing comes out. I'm just trying not to do this in a hurry because if I do it in a hurry, I will drop my drone on the sand, which is bad. Right, there we go, weird angle. So that's nice, because that completely comes out. So it means you can like take it out um, and work with it separately. Open that up and you can see on the inside here, I've got enough space for a DJI Mini 2 drone and a GoPro. Now equally, I could get in here a small mirrorless camera and a couple of accessories. I can actually fit my A7S 3 and a wide angle lens in this as well. So it is big enough for that. But I would say if you wanted to carry larger cameras in general, you might want to look at the 25 liter one, but this is perfect for me because it means I can get a drone and a small camera in it. And that's all I'm really bothered about. This comes with a number of these little Velcro dividers. So you can like rearrange this in any kind of configuration you want. Quick look around the outside of the rest of the bag. It's got a storage flap down the front where I can stick like a coat or a map or something down in there. The other side here, has a stretchy pocket, which I currently have a water bottle in. Northern Ireland, embrace the giant spirit. Uh, but you could also fit a, a small lightweight tripod in there because it would come right up and then this strap would secure it. So you could put a water bottle or a tripod. On the back, there's this pocket, which opens up, it's a full length of the back and it's designed for a water bladder or actually it's big enough you could fit a very small laptop or something like an iPad, a tablet in there as well, but it is designed for a hydration pack and you have a hole here where that's designed to, to come out. On the top, we have a little small pocket here. 
But she could get car keys or a wallet or a passport or something in. Not sure why you would need a passport for a day out. And then in the top here, you've got more space, which I have put small camera in. And I've also got quite a large hoodie stuffed in there as well. As you can see, decent amount of space in there. You could get a lightweight rain jacket, you could get a snack, you could get a sandwich. It's basically just the perfect size uh, for like a quick few hours out on the hills or in the mountains or a hike or some kind of adventure. Also on the inside here, we've got an inner zip pocket and a couple of little nets where you could like store keys and there's a key hook in there as well. So you can attach your, your car key so you don't lose it. Clips, clippy clip. It's also got uh, Velcro loops here so you could attach a couple of hiking poles on the front. They'll hang down there and they'll loop in here. And if the weather gets really bad, you just pull up here. This is weird, this is a different place for putting this. There is a waterproof cover, so you can take that out. Stick it over the top. You can tell this is the first time I've tried putting on the waterproof cover. Put it over the top with ease. And there you've got your bag, nice and safe from the rain. Uh, I'll just throw it on here. The straps, they're pretty thin. Uh, but for a bag this size, you really shouldn't have so much in it that you need really, really thick straps. And they are thin as in like the th actual thickness of the material, but they're quite wide. If I find that that's more than comfortable enough. And if you do have a lot of extra weight in it, you need a bit of extra support. It's got a belt strap um, and a little chest strap as well with a safety whistle. Help! Help! Always important to have your safety whistle. Now, it's got one final trick up its sleeve. You decide, uh, you know what, it'd be really nice if I had my camera separately and I had this space. Well, haha, well, you can remove the camera inner pack, find wherever you've stored uh, this, the pouch of accessories. And with this pouch of accessories, you can instantly give yourself more storage and lose a uh, and lose a lot of street cred. So we can take this off, reach in here, and we've got two of these little quick release adapters. So we'll take those and we can attach these in through here. Attach another one in the other side, like that. And then you take the other ends and you can wire them up through here. Is gonna hit my mic. And now you have your camera hanging down the front. That is so much worse than the bump bag. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't, doesn't look, makes you look like a bit of a prat, but it is actually really useful. And not only that, this pouch that all the accessories come in comes with this strap. You can attach on there. And then you can wrap it around your waist like this. And now you have a handy a handy waist pack as well. If you've decided that hanging the camera compartment on your front makes you a little bit foolish, the, the last thing you can do is they do include this little extra shoulder strap so you can clip that all together. And then you can just wear this around your shoulder like, like an extra pack, which to be honest, I, I think if you want a bit of extra space, this is probably the preferred way to do it rather than hanging it on here like you're some kind of boy scout. And if you decide someday you don't want to bring any camera equipment, you can take the camera compartment right out and then you can open up. There's like a vertical divider, it's just held in place of Velcro. You can open that out and then you have the space of the entire bag just to use it like a normal backpack. That is the Little Pro Photosport BT15 AW3. Overall impressions of this bag is it's nearly perfect for what I want it for this size of bag. It's ultra light, it's just, just big enough. I can just get enough stuff for a day out in the mountains or out having an adventure in fairly decent weather. It's got a camera compartment on it that's separate. I can carry a tripod. It's waterproof as well. It's got pretty much all the features I would have wanted. Um, the only thing I might have liked, there is padding and there is ventilation on the back of this, but just any type of flat backpack, like this does tend to make my back sweat after a while. And I do like bags that have a frame on them, 
but I do accept the fact that bags with frame most on them are much, much heavier. So um, it's a bit of a trade-off. The other thing I might have liked would have been some kind of extra zipped pocket on the outside, maybe down here, or maybe this pocket could have been bigger, that I could get a bigger object in it. This is just a bit small, but maybe that's just me trying to fight the limitations of a 15 liter day pack. And there is a 25 liter one if I really need a bigger bag. But yeah, overall, pretty pleased with this. Might be worth checking out if you're a photographer or your content creator who's looking for something with a bit more space. I hate ending these kinds of videos because I do like this bag. I think it's very good. I've enjoyed using it. It's ticked all the boxes for me. Um, but it suits me. I don't know if it's going to suit absolutely everybody, but I've, I really like it and I'm going to keep using it. Maybe I'll just end with that. What do you think of the bag? Oh, not this again. <laughs> Are you going to make me do this? What do you think of the bag? I don't know. What do you think of the, what do you think of the, oh. what do you think of the fun thing? You know thing? what? I thought you that was ridiculous, but it was kind of fun. Honestly, what do you think of it? It looked like a baby carrier for your camera. <laughs> I did think it looked fine whenever you turned it into the side pack. That looked grand. Okay, yeah. yeah. So maybe if you're still a little bit self-conscious about what people think of you, maybe don't put the camera thing in the front. But apart from that, what do you think? Looks like a nice bag. I like the color. Pretty universal. Everybody will want it. I don't know what to say. It's a bag. Is there an endorsement from Naomi? <laughs>